Hey, what's up, gang? So it is day four of the IS 300 build. Yeah, I think it, I think it's day four. So this happened yesterday. I had to kind of roughly mock it up so I could kind of brainstorm and figure out how the hell I'm gonna get this to fit any good and how I'm gonna make it look good because it's rough. It's very, very, very rough. Had some kind of gnarly fiberglass repair. Not hating, dude. Like, not hating. It's just that's how it goes. I need to skim all of this. I need to sand all this off and then I'm going to use this stuff called quicksand that I'll show you in a later video and you spray it out of a gun and it's like Bondo and it's kind of like a gel coating so it's going to hold this together really good and it's going to straighten it because like it's fiberglass and every single one of these cars of this kit is just wavy as hell and I'm here now might as well fix it you know also just kind of like sand so I had to ruin my uh, OEM quarters in the first place to fit these. Uh, I think these ones aren't my aggressive ones. These are 18, nine and a half, 23 battles. Um, to fit my 18, nine and a half, 15s, I had to just destroy the quarters, like just destroy them. And now I got two and a half, three inches between, look at that. That's crazy. Between uh, the wheel well. Um, I got the new wheels and I don't think I want to reveal them yet until I fit the other side of the quarter and the kit because it just doesn't do it justice. I, I'm not going to lie, I already put them on and just looks unreal. You know, it just, it's that realization moment like, this is, this is actually going on. Like, this is happening. Like, this, this is for real, my car. And they're not like the craziest thing ever. In fact, they're not even crazy at all, but damn, they look good. Glad I, you know, played it safe and just kind of picked a good, like, decent competition wheel. Not even a name brand, but they're sick. So you'll see. So got this banged out yesterday. Got all kinds of vertical clearance in this bitch. Just perfect. So if you're doing this, pretty much leave a, a quarter inch, if not a little more, between the door. And then you cut this flap here, hit it up well then, and then you kind of bang this one down and you just chop it. Today, while we're here, and I'm fixing this abomination of a dent. So how this dent happened is my buddy Christopher Secord at Park, he drives a white V6 Mustang. And he actually, I know you think white V6 Mustang guy at Drift Track. Mm -hmm. Nah, he rips. <laughs> like he's really good. He actually saved my car. So it happens when you tandem with random people in the front. Like I'm about it. To be honest, I'm not gonna be after this car's done, but yeah, this dude just parked it. And so, same dude parks it around Big Sweeper at Park. It's like a 50 mile an hour corner. And I just had no room and I clipped the back end of a Beamer. A nice one too, so I felt bad, but he was chill. We tanned him the rest of the day. And then I'm coming around um, out of Dead Man's and he just parks it and we're in like a 10 car train. Like, dude, what the hell? And I see, Ironically, my mother was in the car. Like, it was the only time they've ever come to a drift event for me. So that was rad. And she was stoked. I just see him coming around, you know. Aah! And he, like, you could tell he knew it was up. And he's like, Aah! tap. Of course, right away, tap me. Oh, uh, surprise queen title. A previous owner got in a wreck. And there's Bondo everywhere. And I, it was a rainy day. And even, like, in the rainy day, I saw the sanding scratches and I was like, well, it's clean title. This car's dumb clean when I bought it. So I was like, whatever. So I have the task because I don't have anybody to help me hold this thing up and mock it up right now. I'm gonna cut all this Bondo out, big old Bondo Buster, 36 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna pull this dent out. I'm gonna grind it all, like make it nice. Um, no rust, zero rust. You can't have rust under Bondo and then once I pull it a little bit, get it flush, I'm just gonna remake all of it with Bondo. DA that down, sand it low, glaze it, call it good. Yeah, that's where we're at today. I'm gonna set my phone up because Kiara's not here yet to film and we're gonna get started. So stay tuned, you might learn something. A lot of people do not know how to do body work right and it sucks because they have to you know, buy all the material. The only way to do it is to learn. And the only better way to do it is to learn from a professional. And I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have many of those around me and have for a long time. So yeah, it's not as easy as sand it, slap it on and just like DA it well. Like it's not. If you're gonna do it right, 
and you're gonna spend the money and you're gonna do it, do it right. So 36 grit always for Bondo. It's either 80 grit won't leave sand scratches, but if it's gnarly and you're gonna glaze it and 80 it anyways, 36 grit, all that crap out. You can build, you can cut into Bondo and like level it, but if it's your own car and you want it to look good, don't do that. Cut it all out, start from scratch. So I'm gonna 36 grit this whole panel and then we'll get into it from there. Step one to doing this is complete. Uh, me, personally, because I have a lot of things up, I just tape everything around where I'm sanding because sometimes you get jamming to music or you're tired or you're focused on something and you don't realize where you're sanding and you sand the, you know, over to the panel. Well, great, now you get to paint that panel. Not that it matters, really. I want to paint all this, but I'm trying not to just like, you know, and it, I promise if you're just starting out, you're going to do that. Just, that's gonna happen. So prepare for that, always mask. So I'm gonna take, so you can see there's a body line here. And so I ground all the Bondo out. No more Bondo, just primer, right? And this is 36 grit, 40 gritted out. I'm gonna kinda go look at the other side, feel it, look at some pictures, blah, blah, blah. It actually feels as if this metal's high here. And obviously this is low. You're gonna feel with your hand across it and then another cool trick that you're about to learn here and that nobody else taught you good old master hayden here now if you've done this somebody's had to teach this you're just starting out get a blue shop towel right and it literally accentuates like the hell out of everything like i don't know the word but it, it drama drama to dramatizes it the other thing you can do is if you have like your paint prep cleaner or like some kind of lacquer or something or solvent, not lacquer, solvent, you can spray it on the panel and it's going to show you all the waves and stuff and the reflection just so it kind of act as paint or clear. This is low. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. I'm low here. This line's a little weirdly wavy. I actually need to tap some of this stuff down. And so since this is so low, it crowned, which means this whole area here is kind of high. So I'm going to kind of just hit it down, pull up, hit it down. And you'll see when I pull, you actually want to take a body hammer, a little pointy one. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. While you're pulling out, this uh, sets the metal because metal has memory. So if you don't hit around it and dent it, a, you know, minute amount, it will go back. Or I've had it sometimes where you're doing the bondo, it's, you know, it came out, pop, it goes back in because it, it, it has memory. And if you don't do something to counter that, so like take the tension off of it, it will go back to that. So just let you know here, this is a little dicey, it split the seam. So I'm going to have to pull this out. This is probably going to tear off to weld it up, grind it flush, get it low, smear it. So yeah. Um, I'll set you guys up in small segments. I'm kind of jamming music and I only have my phone, so hard to, you know, rock out and uh, video at the same time, so.
probably as good as we're gonna get for now. So what happened was, sorry, um, the previous shop that fixed this just smeared the whole thing. This is a, what's it called? A, say, a time saver, a, a flat rate. This was a flat rate job. And they, or a, I don't know. They cut the corners. They just like, oh, it's in. Uh, okay, like they didn't pull it or nothing. They just went, Whoosh. <laughs> and then they like, okay, I stand down. And then they're like, Whoosh. stand down. They didn't even finish it right and they painted it. So this is like a Mako repair. They beat it around for sure, but like they didn't do this. So what happens is the, the panel, you might've saw me fighting it, gets all stretched out and it makes it, it's called tin canning. So it's like a pop can. You can just, you know, you can move it. So it's just like, which is bad. What I had to do, some of you probably are professional body technicians. I'm not a professional. I'm not claiming to be. I'm just claiming to generally know what the fuck I'm doing a lot better than kids doing it out of their garage with no help. You know what I'm saying? And this might help them. So they're not gonna have this in the garage. But if you can find a shop, this is called a finger stretcher. It is your best friend. So instead of, I, I tried to pull it and it was whoop, 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 like moving everywhere. And when, when you bond over that, that's real bad because that can crack out over time just from flexing. Or if you get it well and you don't, and it's tin can, it can pop out. So you can finish your bondo, come back the next day, tension. Bleh. I put the shrinker stretcher in here and that thing heats the metal up and usually you just couple and pull it out. I go in there and I go bum, 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 get it super hot and then I cool it. What that does is that um, the metal's all expanded, right? So that tightens the metal. It pulls this metal in around it, making it more rigid. And a professional probably could have done this in five or six of these well placed, but I just could not seem to get it. So I just had to go ham essentially. And now the panel is much happier. It's it's strong, you know, it's still tin canned a little bit, but it doesn't have the, the flex to it because it's it, it's not expanded enough to like have like a force where it like can push all this out now. Now it's so tight, it can only move in, in less than an eighth of an inch. So that's good. That means that we're safe. And this also makes it well. Well, by pulling this a little lower, what happens is it crowns this whole area. So it pulls this in. This was level, and so now it makes a hump here. And that hump, once you apply your Bondo, is a high spot. Luckily with Bondo, you can blend it all, but sometimes it's too high, and then you gotta sand it off, and, which is okay. And you hit it down, and then you re -app it. And what you don't wanna do is keep having like a high spot, because by the time you get to your glaze, you should only need to glaze this once, maybe twice. It's gonna take you like four times to build it up, and it will never be right. So take your time, get your metal work done. If it's a super bad drift car and you're trying to make it nice, don't worry about it. But, and like, honestly, if there's gonna be an over fender over this. Do I give a No, but do I also give a inside and deep down in my heart? Yes, yes, I give a because this is my baby. So, metal's tight. There's a couple low spots. We did pretty good. I need to weld this up on the seam because it was torn. So now I'm gonna grind this all off with uh, 36 grit. You don't want any of this crap under your Bondo. Weld that up really quick. And then we're gonna smear this whole panel. I didn't want to smear the whole panel. I just wanted to smear the area and then glaze the whole panel. But there's so much just bad going on with this panel that I'm gonna glaze it all because I'd rather do it once or twice opposed to three or four times, right? And you, you want that heavy. So I'm gonna grind this off, weld this up, and then it's gonna be really, really hard to film, mix, and apply Bondo. So hopefully Kiara will be back by that time. But if not, I'll take you through the gist. 12 seconds later. I'm about to throw down my first coat of Bondo. So we're making good progress, you know? I had to do some gnarly like corner work. It wasn't even that bad, just the metal got thin and it like cracked. So I had to Tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, and then grind it off, and then a, another little crack would happen. Tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, grind it off. And so I had to do that for about 30 minutes there and rebuild this corner. So I'm gonna have to lay some uh, Bondo in there. The metal's 36, it's all uniform, it's nice. All the big dents that I can see are low. There's 
no high spots that are obvious and it's ready to go so you're gonna see me hopefully in the video i'm going to tape off everything bondo can drip on i'm going to tape down here because i don't need to get any bondo down here i'm going to tape all over here where i don't want it That's all grease and dust and grime you were about to lay your bondo on. Got you. All right, so that was probably one of the worst taps I've done in my life this week. So, um, I did not take into account the temperature. It is much hotter since the last time I uh, mixed. And I, so I mixed it for like a cold day where you need more hardener. And that shit kicked in like two minutes. <laughs> so it's not always pretty, but as you can see, that's still low. So I'm gonna have to actually fill even more. Luckily with Bondo, it's how you take it off. Not really how you put it on as long as you got it mixed right. But as you can see, my tape job was very necessary. <laughs> so. I'm gonna buzz this down. I'm gonna reap it until that's not there anymore. And then, cause that's a low spot still. So I don't wanna take all this build off around it cause I need to build this whole thing. So I'm just gonna take the big shit off of the uh, DA, uh, 36 grit. You can use a Bondo Buster, I like a DA. It just keeps me consistent. And here we go. And then right after you lay it hot, gets hot. Um, it's a, you'll see it's, it'll be like tacky to the touch, but your fingerprint will just barely be able to imprint. If you hit it, then that's like a trick. Not a lot of people know you'll cut your, uh, sanding time in half. So I'm already a little past that. So I need to get on it. And here's another time lapse. <laughs> All right, so it is 11 11. I hope I get this card done. That's my wish for that time, whatever. And it is the end of night four. I just would like to go home. I could do this all night, but I got work at six tomorrow. I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I didn't get much filming in after that because it was literally just me sanding. And I want to do smaller spots for you guys because it'll be a lot easier to understand because bigger spots, you just got to work them out, you know. But um, we did pretty dang good. So this is the second coat of Bondo. And I already have it 150'd out. So it's smooth you know i found the line um this was a little high so i had to tap it down i gotta tap this down and i might need to tap this down and then we can just fucking glaze it um the center where that big dent was is no longer there feels good honestly it's it's guide coated out it's everything um i'm gonna check it again tomorrow it does feel a little wonky so i might bond it but I think it's so tiny, tiny low right where that's at, just because it was already kind of low and I brought everything down to it, like down to it, that I'll be able to skim coat it with glaze and we can just blend that in. So it's it's 150'd out, so you do 36, then you do 80, and I, I blocked it. I didn't DA all this. I you DA it, real, first coat real quick, skim another one, and then you DA that until it's all even, guide coat it, long block. Short block by hand, pretty much, but long block. And then you uh, guide coat it a bunch, like three or four separate times, typically, sometimes more. Then you switch your paper to 150 and it just it cuts it so smooth. So, I mean, it's coming along. This is a kind of a daunting one for me, honestly. Like this is about, I'm, I don't do whole panel corrections yet. <laughs> <laughs> on my own anyways so all right guys um i hope that you made it through i know it's just this stuff but i feel like it's very helpful and it's like my way of giving back like i was blessed to have this wonderful like workspace and like all these mentors so if i can like share what they shared with me with you like that that's great man so like well it's night four i love the shit out of this stuff so all right well Stay tuned for more. Peace. I think we're putting the kid on tomorrow. Cool.